Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, an application of uh, kernel convolution and that will be uh, the, the mean filter and we'll also be talking a bit about some uh, other uh, neighborhood filters, the, the median filter and the uh, Gaussian uh, filter. So um, let's go to the, to the notebook um, and I've loaded the, the working.jpg uh, image. So what is the uh, mean uh, filter? Well, the mean filter is a, um, a convolutional filter where the, uh, the, 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 kern the goal of the kernel is to um, take the, uh, the mean value of a uh, neighborhood. Uh, so to replace the center pixel of a neighborhood by the mean value of the uh, pixel pixels surrounding it. So how can we build a, a kernel um, to, to, to do that? Well, uh, we quite simply uh, need to, um, to, to, um, to do a kernel where we put uh, ones everywhere and then divide by the number of pixels in the, uh, in the neighborhood. That way we give equal uh, weight to every pixel in the neighborhood to compute the, uh, the average uh, value. So let's quickly create sorry, uh, the kernel. Uh, let's uh, pick a kernel size. Let's put it at five the moment um, and I can say that my kernel will be uh, created so I use the uh, numpy helper function uh, ones to, uh, to create a kernel filled with the value one um, I will give it a size of kernel size uh, and then I can divide by the sum and if I print the kernel, I will have a kernel with um, the same value everywhere and where the sum will be equal to uh, 1. So using my uh, convolve2d uh, method, I can use that to get the output. Uh, so the convolve2d method from uh, SciPy that we used in the previous uh, video, I can use it with the image and the kernel. And let's show the two images side by side. So first, the original image. And the output. I put everything in a grayscale. And I can see that the uh, result I have is an image that is slightly uh, blurred. And if I m uh, change the uh, kernel size, I can have uh, an effect that, it's, that is uh, a lot uh, more visible. Uh, so everything is uh, blurry. And if I do a smaller size, I will have the, uh, the effect at a much uh, smaller scale. So this is uh, fairly uh, normal. And if I go really uh, to extreme cases, I will start completely losing all the details of the, uh, of the uh, image. So this is uh, something that might be useful when, um, when doing some uh, subsampling. Uh, so if I want to reduce the size of, of, uh, of an image with uh, subsampling, so let's say here that I want to take only every uh, fifth pixel. Right, uh, let's take something a bit uh, smaller. Um, so here I have uh, subsampled uh, the, the image by a factor of five, and I can see that uh, I have a, a lot more um, artifacts. Um, so the image here seems uh, seems uh, um, a lot uh, well with a lot um, yeah. A lot more noisy, a lot more noisy uh, here because when I just uh, subsample, I uh, completely remove the information from all the pixels that I am not using. Uh, whereas if I first do uh, the um, t uh, a, a mean kernel, if I first use a mean a mean filter here to uh, to uh, to blur the, the image, then the, the 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 value that I am uh, actually put keeping uh, after my my subsampling here. Is um, is a value that that uh, already takes into account the pixel and its neighbors. Therefore, we are we are uh, keeping um, in a w in a certain way more information from the original image in our subsampled image. And the the overall effect is that sure we have lost uh, a lot of resolution, but it's uh, it looks nicer than uh, what we had. Uh, with just uh, the, the pure subsampling. So this is one of the, uh, of the um, 
reasons to use this kind of filters. Um, the mean filter is uh, very, very uh, simple, but it's also um, uh, a bit too simple in a way because typically when we want to have this kind of uh, blur, rather than just putting equal weight to all of the pixels in the neighborhood, which becomes kind of weird when we take larger neighborhoods because there is no there doesn't seem to be really a reason for 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 putting as much weight to the pixels that are very far from the from the uh, from the original uh, value than to the pixels that are very uh, close to it. So another um, possibility is to use a Gaussian filter, which is kind of the same uh, principle except that. Uh, instead of having um, a kernel with just uh, ones everywhere, we put uh, a lot more weight to the, to the center pixels than the pixel further apart. Uh, so we could build uh, these kinds of, um, of uh, kernels uh, ourselves, and you can find online uh, the, 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 the coefficients that you can use for different sizes. But you can also just use the uh, Gaussian filter from Scikit image, just to compare, um, to compare the, 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 the two. Um, so the, the, the Gaussian filter, if I uh, look at uh, Gaussian filter sky image, um, at documentation. So I have um, for the Gaussian filter a parameter which is the standard deviation for the uh, Gaussian filter. So I'm not just taking um, a certain si neighborhood size, uh, but I'm uh, giving the, uh, the actual standard deviation for the, for the, for the filter, and then the uh, kernel will be uh, actually computed uh, directly by, by, scikit, uh, by scikit image. Um, so let's get this uh, Gaussian, and it's still the image, and let's try a sigma of 5 to look at what happens. And First, just looking at the full scale image. So the result is uh, still uh, a blurred image, but normally here the, the I should have um, something that is uh, actually uh, uh, a little bit smoother than, than uh, what I had here, with less uh, of a risk of having a kind of blocky effect from having a straight uh, um, square neighborhoods, um, something that is uh, no, that, that will tend to, to work uh, better, especially with uh, larger uh, kernels. So with a, with a very small um, standard deviation, the result will be almost exactly the same as with uh, the uh, the mean filter. But if I take uh, larger um, larger uh, values for the standard deviation. Um, I would have so I will have something that is uh, that looks a lot nicer with the uh, Gaussian filter. I can also, of course, um, do the uh, subsampling here to see the effects on a subsampled image, uh, and I will actually compare with the f the one with the mean filter. It will be a bit better. Um, so of course I don't have a direct, uh, I can't have a direct comparison between the uh, the size of the uh, of the kernel that I used here and the uh, and the sigma, but I can try to to make it kind of as blurry uh, in both. Uh, and I can see that the, the result is not super different with one and the other, but I uh, will typically have something that is uh, a bit nicer uh, with the uh, with the Gaussian uh, filter. I think here I'm a bit more blurry actually. Uh, but it's kind of the same, uh, the same general idea. Um, another um, filter that is slightly different uh, is the median filter. So we are still looking at the idea of uh, of a neighborhood, but this time instead of trying to take the um, the mean uh, value in the neighborhood, we want to take the uh, median value of a neighborhood. So this cannot be done with uh, simple uh, kernel convolution. Uh, this is um, a slightly more complex operation because now what we need to do uh, is well to find the median. Um, in, in a neighborhood, we would normally have to uh, sort all the value in the neighborhood and pick the, uh, the one in the, in the middle. So of course we can use um, some uh, NumPy uh, methods to do that. And we can uh, also use directly the median filter from second image, which let's quickly um, first code it, uh, code it ourselves. So if we have a certain uh, neighborhood size, we can um, 
we can do our double loop in uh, opposed dimension uh, to, to go through every pixel. Of course, make it, making sure that we are not taking the edges into account. The same in the x dimension. And um, here we uh, will have to take, so if we take uh, our region, our neighborhood, it will be uh, the y minus k size over 2. Like that. So this will be my region, and what I want is actually uh, the uh, median value over that region. And I want to put that in my output. So this will be out three now. So if now I can first prepare my output to be uh, the same shape as the uh, original image, but with filled with zeros. And this should work. So let's print that here. Uh, what did I do wrong? Ah, this is, should be a column. So as you can see, the, the median filter, if I do it like that, will take a lot, uh, a lot more time to uh, compute. And I still have an error somewhere. Uh, invalid dimensions. Uh, oh, yeah. I was replacing the entire array with uh, the median value uh, every time. So it became a scalar, which would not work quite as well. Um, so um, the operation, of course, takes a lot longer than just uh, finding the, um, the, the the mean. So it takes a lot more time here. It will be uh, a lot uh, faster when using the um, the built-in method from scikit image. But this is just to 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 really show what's what's happening. Um, and so we can see that the, the effect is a lot different uh, from the uh, mean filter. So let's take actually the same kernel size. So it was 15. Uh, so it will take a bit uh, even longer, but uh, that way we can really compare the two um, more easily. Um, and the, 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 the idea here is really that the um, I'm still using the same the same neighborhood to have the value, but by, by using the, the, the median, I will have an effect that is not quite uh, blurry as with the mean the mean filter. I am still losing a lot of details, um, but the, the really important thing is that I am preserving the uh, the borders with the median filters, because with the median filter, if I if I start with a, a pixel that is sometime, some, somewhere inside of the um, of the window, for instance. Uh, a, as long as a majority of the pixels in the neighborhoods are within that window, the value that I will have uh, as an output will still be um, black or almost uh, black in this in this case. Uh, even if I get very close to the border, um, whereas in the um, in the mean filter, as soon as the neighborhood includes uh, part of the uh, of the wall, then I will have a value that will start to um, to, 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 to go uh, to go down. And so I will have on the edges uh, this really uh, blurry effect with the with the mean filter where I where I have um, a gradient uh, from the uh, the dark region to the uh, light region. Um, but in the median filter, I don't have that uh, at all. Uh, instead, I have a border that remains uh, completely uh, sharp, even when using very large neighborhoods like I've done uh, in here. Um, so if I use the uh, built-in uh, methods from um, from scikit uh, image, um, actually the um, so the principle is slightly different when you use these uh, these uh, these methods. Instead of building the, the, the kernel really uh, ourselves, 
um, what we uh, will give is the, the structuring uh, elements. So it will not be just uh, the, 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 the kernel coefficients, but we are just um, giving the region over which we want to compute the, uh, the filter. And the one of the advantages of using uh, this uh, method is that we are no longer necessarily limited to uh, square regions. But we can also uh, compute the mean and median filter over, uh, for instance, uh, circles, over, over a disk, um, which, uh, which uh, has kind of an, uh, 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 um, an advantage of giving a, a typically a, uh, a slightly smoother result as well, uh, since we, we don't have this kind of blocky uh, artifact that we may have with the, with the, the squares. Uh, here we are taking more pixels that are within a certain dis distance of the, uh, of the uh, input pixel, which is uh, a bit better. Um, so if I use the min filter, it will be uh, in, and then I can give the structuring element. So I could take, for instance, a disk with a radius of five and do the same for the median. And that. And I can see that it was a lot faster than, uh, than the previous uh, method. So this is again because all the built-in method from circuit image uh, afterwards are accelerated uh, in uh, in C typically, so it's, uh, it goes a lot faster. Um, but I can see that the result here is uh, mostly uh, the same, except that here also the, the borders are uh, actually uh, uh, kept. Um, so we probably have uh, an argument that we can also give to the mean and median filter to decide how to, how to handle the, the, the borders. Um, so what's the, 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 the point of the median filter? Well, the, uh, the big advantage is that it preserves the, um, the border. So if preserving the border is something that you need, um, that might be uh, uh, of interest. Uh, and also, it's a much better um, uh, way of averaging the values when you are trying to do some denoising. So if I um, take now this uh, image that I have here, So this is the same working image, but this time I've corrupted the image uh, by adding uh, artificially some uh, salt and pepper uh, noise. So I've just randomly put 5% uh, of the pixels in black, 5% of the pixel in pure white, uh, so completely randomly in the, in the image. Um, so this gives me uh, something that is very noisy, and I can uh, attempt to remove the noise by uh, averaging uh, over a neighborhood, and I can try to do it here with the median and with the uh, mean filter. And what we will see, of course, that if we are using a, um, a mean filter, and I'm going to use here a much smaller value to try to, because the goal is to, of course, get something that is as close as possible to the original image. If I'm using a, um, a mean filter, the, um, the salt and pepper uh, noise will uh, impact a lot the uh, output value. So if I have just uh, on a three by three neighborhood, if I did just one or two pixels that are uh, pure black or pure, pure white, it will have a huge influence on the output value. Uh, whereas in the uh, median filter, if I just have one or two pixels that are uh, completely outside of the, of the distribution, then they will, these uh, outliers will not impact uh, the median a lot. And so the, the, the image that we recover here will be uh, a lot uh, cleaner. Um, so as you can see here, the, the, the output for the median filter uh, is a lot closer to the original uh, uh, image, so the, the image without noise, than what we get here with the, uh, with the mean filter. And with the mean filter, we would have to really increase the, uh, the neighborhood a lot, a lot if we wanted to, to remove the noise, and that would result in a very, very blurry image um, instead of the uh, relatively clean image that we have here. So that's it for the uh, for this video and I will see you in the next one.